Hello, I'm Petra Lewis and this is Ultrasound 101 and our next section is part three and that's talking about some basics of Doppler ultrasound. Doppler ultrasound gives us the ability to detect, display and measure movement, um, usually flow. I'm not going to talk about the physics of it. And there's four different types of Doppler ultrasound I'm going to talk about in sequence M mode, pulsed or spectral Doppler, color Doppler, and then power Doppler. M mode is the most basic type of Doppler ultrasound. It uses the lowest energy, so it's a very safe form of ultrasound that we can use on tiny embryos. And we use it for a limited number of applications. We use it for measuring the rate of something. So in this case, we can see it's measuring uh, embryonic heart rate of a tiny little embryonic pole there. We use it for looking at the motion of the valves in echocardiography. And then it can also be used in lung ultrasound. And I'll show you an example of that on our artifacts um, video that comes later in the series. So with M-mode ultrasound, it is recording the ultrasound signal down a single line, which is indicated by the line on the top display, but it's looking at the signal with time. And if you look closely at this image above, you will see that the display on the M-mode ultrasound corresponds directly to the signal it's seeing as it goes down. So here it's going through some sort of mid-gray area of the anterior uterus. So this is mid-gray. It then has a little black bit of amniotic fluid, which is here. This is the embryo in the middle here, black fluid. And then we're out into the uterus again for this bit here, which corresponds to this bit here. How do we measure the embryonic heart rate? So if you look very closely here in the bit that, that uh, displays the embryo, you'll see there's constant little blips. And that is the moving of the cardiac tube. And we measure the distance between them, which can then be converted into a heart rate. The next type is pulsed or spectral Doppler. And this gives us a number of different pieces of information, which we don't see necessarily with MO Doppler. The first is we see the direction of flow. So we know if the flow is coming towards the transducer, in which case it's above the baseline or away from the transducer, in which case it's below the baseline. We have a waveform, so we can see here exactly what's happening in systole, in, in diastole. We have quantification here, you see in centimeters per second, this is 20, this is 60, so the peak is somewhere around probably um, 70 centimeters per second here, so we have quantification. So what do we use this for? We use this for interrogating vessels to see if they're arteries or veins and whether there's a presence of a stenosis or other flow abnormality within that vessel. So we're going to look for um, patients to have abnormal waveforms in the carotid or in the renal artery vessels by looking with pulsed or spectral Doppler. And I'm not going to go over the different waveforms and what they signify um, as that's outside the confines of this particular lecture. Color flow is one of our big workhorses of Doppler flow that we use for innumerable different types of application. And this gives us a couple of different pieces of information. It shows the presence of flow and it shows the direction of that flow relative to the transducer. And the standard is um, usually set up such that red, and you can see by just confirming it on the little color graph, red is to flow towards the transducer and blue is flow away from the transducer. Now don't get confused into thinking that one means artery and one means vein because it depends on the vessel and where the transducer is placed. It's just flow relative to that transducer. And you may need to put spectral Doppler on it to confirm if something is an artery or a vein. Now this has a very loose quantification. You see here it says 13 and minus 13 and those again centimeters per second, but it's not true quantification. So don't, if you want to get a, a velocity measurement, you're going to get your velocity measurements from your spectral uh, Doppler. What do we use this for? We look, we use this all the time to see if vessels are present, whether they're patent, whether there is perfusion to organs or perfusion to masses. So you will be continuously putting color Doppler on and off during a period of an examination. What's power Doppler? Well, power Doppler 
is very, very sensitive to flow, but it does not give you any indication in the flow direction, and it doesn't give you any idea of the quantification of flow. So we, we will use this to look to see if structures, organs, or masses contain perfusion. Um, for example, you may have an ovary that you're not picking anything up by color Doppler. You might then want to put on power and see if you can be more sensitive to low flow rates. And that's the end of part three.